if these perform well in the same way that they look as though they will be, because you're testing them, right? So yeah, what, you're going to know the difference. If they're half the price, yeah, why would you not go these? So that is the question we're going to be answering today, ladies and gentlemen. For half the price of your typical carbon race wheel, do these Super Team SL 50mm disc UCI approved carbon wheels valued at 991 USD dollars, which includes postage for me in little old Australia, link below, stack up to your typical carbon race wheel. Although, for the speed tests we're gonna be doing today, we'll be comparing these DT Swiss Arc die cut 50mm rims that are actually not double the price, they're closer to triple the price. Coming in at circa 3,000 USD dollars depending on which website you go to. Now in order to stay as neutral as possible in this video today, as it is sponsored by Super Team, meaning that they gave me the wheels for free six months ago, so I've been using the wheels for six months, and they're even giving me some money in order to fund my time to share this wheel set with you today. I'll be sharing with you an independent expert mechanics point of view and some speed test data where I've held the same watts using my Asioma Duo power meter pedals on certain segments, comparing the Super Team wheels to these three times more expensive DT Swiss wheels. I'll also be sharing with you simple product features on these Super Team wheels as opposed to my opinion, meaning hopefully you can walk away from this video with your own view on whether it's worth spending an extra 2000 USD more or if these are some of the best value for money carbon race wheels that you have seen. Now, why am I doing a speed test comparison to these wheels, which are three times more expensive? It's a good question. Outside of the fact that I own these DT Swiss wheels, they're also a 50 millimeter width, a similar weight to the Super Team wheels, although a touch heavier, probably due to their steel alloy blended bladed spoke versus the Super Team carbon bladed spoke. And the Super Team wheels run a very similar ceramic bearing hub to the DT Swiss wheels, the Star Ratchet system, a system that was apparently under patent until late 2020, early 2021, but a system that can now be copied and a system that Aaron happened to have in front of him, a DT Swiss 180, the same hubs that are in this particular wheel on the day that I took the Super Teams in to see him. So we got free hub body wire, ceramic. So that's a perfect timing, a DT Swiss copy. So if we lay that down, you can see the free hub body. Okay, this is XD before someone says that, but the actual internals. Yeah. Yeah, so it's using a star ratchet assembly. However, it is not the same as this, as we can tell. It's the same design. These look very, very similar. Again, I don't know about the quality of them. I don't, they, could, they could be buying these from them. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you just dropped it on me, I don't know. So so, but that looks to me, that's a 36 tooth star ratchet. I'm sure, I mean, it works well, it sounds good, right? When it was spinning up then. And then this is different to a DT Swiss. So remember this one, it's got a, the assembly that threads in. Remember I said about tooling yeah. and you've got engagements here as well. Yep. So this is running, an, this is the EXP. What they've done is they've taken, it's a bit of a mixture. They've taken the old star ratchet assembly um, and they've, des they've obviously just made it themselves. So again, so it says you've just got the external um, engagement, not the flat face on here. So they've just taken the star ratchet assembly and they've made it themselves, which is great because the star ratchet was around forever. We've been using that forever. It's only recently they've done that EXP one, which is a lighter version. Yeah, so it looks very similar, almost identical to what we were doing before, but the blade is so much bigger. Obviously it tapers quite significantly, but that's that looks exactly the same. Looks like the, the spokes look almost the same manufacturing process. So what Aaron is visually comparing to there are the wind space hypers. A wheel set that I took in to see him in August 2022. In fact, I took in the old and the new Hyper Luen wheels, which I unfortunately don't own anymore, but I have to agree from a visual standpoint, there are a lot of similarities, including the carbon bladed spokes, 21 at the front, 21 at the rear. The connecting hub nut into the flange looks borderline identical, although these bladed spokes are bigger, I believe, at 5.2 millimeters. Additionally, the carbon blades on the Super Teams don't touch either, which was on the upgraded wind space hypers as the original hypers were having creaking issues because of the touching carbon spokes. The rim width is basically the same, 21 internal and a 28 external, meaning you're gonna be able to fit 25s and 28s on this comfortably, although I'm running the quirky 26. I guess probably the biggest difference I can see, external to the fact that the hypers are gonna be circa 600 USD more, including postage than these wheels, is these wheels have a bigger nipple on the new 
Wind space hype is over smaller nipple, which is supposed to improve aerodynamics, but it makes it a little bit trickier to work on as opposed to these wheels. It's gonna be a little bit easier to do any wheel truing that is required. And the wind space hypers have more of a traditional 50 millimeter profile. I'd say more like the DT Swiss, whereas these have more of a wavy, what they call a shark fin design with like the zip dimples, like the gold ball technology on the actual rim. So I'd say we've got a blend on this wheel of three different wheels that I can see, like a DT Swiss hub, a Windspace Hyper bladed carbon spoke, and a zip rim with the wave and dimple technology. So the super teams are basically a hybrid, pulling strengths from all these different well-established players and putting them on a platter for 991 USD dollars. Now it should probably be noted after saying that, and at this point in the video, that the super teams are made by a Chinese company out of Xiamen that have been around for 10 plus years and are a carbon wheel OEM to Western brands. So they've probably seen a bit of different wheel technology coming through the door prior. So I guess the big question is now, how did they perform on the speed test? So for these speed tests, everything stays the same, including the Fattoria course of tubes and tires. The only thing that's different are the wheels. And of course, it's all completed on the same morning. And for this morning, the wind was zero kilometers per hour across all eight tests. You can see that from the wind app screenshots I take before each run. We have two runs on each wheel. First up a one and a half kilometer closed road climb where I'm attempting to hold a 350 watt average on the same Asioma power meter pedals I've been using for years. The advantage of the Asioma power pedals who are a partner of this channel is that they use real or instantaneous angular velocity versus what a lot of other power meter use which is average which means we're getting a real time reading which is really important up a climb which has different gradients where your cadence and power transfer will vary as the gradient shifts. Link to the Asiomas below. And then two runs each on the descent where I'm free pedaling after a run up into a signpost in a tuck position. Now the DT Swiss wheels were faster all round. On average, by just over one second up the climb and three seconds on the descent. For me, I also like to look at the max speed on the descent and you can also see the DT Swiss wheels hit 90 kilometers max and the super teams 87 which is super solid in its own right 87 kilometer per hour max speed if i go back in time and compare to many other speed tests i've done over the years but obviously today we're comparing against a pretty high end wheel so after everything that you've now seen do you think these super teams are some of the best value for money carbon wheels you can buy love to hear your thoughts below and just before you drop a thought we should talk about support because one of the benefits, say, with a DT Swiss wheel or with a Windspace Hyper now, is you can purchase through a local bike shop, meaning you will be supported through that particular channel, which is very convenient for a lot of people with the super teams. Yes, they come with a three-year warranty. They also come with spare spokes if you happen to break a few. And from a general use perspective, I've been using mine for six months and the wheels have kept their trueness and the bearings are yet to go notchy, unlike other ceramic bearings I have used previously. If you've gotten value from this video today, please don't forget to give it a like, or if you like my new moustache, give the video a like too. Greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.